Hello, welcome everybody. My name is Chrissy, and today I'm going to be giving you a prediction reading for the month of June. Now, for anyone new to my channel, I just let my guides channel through to you, so stay watching this video because there could be a message in here you're meant to receive today. And for everybody else, I'll just get started and we'll see what comes up for the month of June. They're showing me astronauts. So they're showing me astronauts floating and this is around us. So we're floating now in this energy of when there's no gravity. So it's like we're flying kind of free. If you think about it, um, you can go into those, um, they have these big machines. I don't know if you've ever seen them, but you can go into them and put your like space suit on and you can fly. It's almost like parachuting. But it's almost like so you can experience that feeling of not having that gravity um, and and this is what this sort of showing me where we're in that sort of floating energy where we're feeling very free um, but they're saying like we still have a structured life and we're still um, contained so it's almost showing me like in a spaceship you know you're quite contained you might have different um, areas you can go within the spaceship but you are still contained but it's like they're saying to me that we're okay with that um because when we know we're in charge of our own life so it's like the decisions we make when you think of an astronaut they have to make very quick and snap decisions sometimes because it's obviously life-saving we talked about the david bowie song yesterday where he was um going up in the tin can um, space Odyssey was the song. Um, well, I'm still getting this around us that we're like spacemen. We're kind of floating um, because I think too this comes back to our reality does not feel real. It feels like we're in a different reality and we're sort of floating above it. If you think of this floating without, you know, that gravity pushing down on us, we're just floating and we're just like, and, and that could come back to going with the flow as well, but we're also floating. We're like these astronauts that are kind of out in outer space and, and we're having these joyous moments of like, uh, you know, times of laughter where we're like squeezing out the toothpaste and the toothpaste is floating out. I won't describe other things that might be floating out, but this is kind of what they're showing me, you know, droplets of water floating around us. Like, we, we feel like our life that we're currently living is surreal. It does not feel real. And we're doing like all these kind of little fun experiments. It's kind of like um, we're ex experimenting with the gravity um, of things as well. But the gravity as in that, that floating experience of seeing things from above. And this is why I always talk about we're living from higher realms because we see things very differently to a lot of people even though a lot of them are starting to wake up now because they're being forced to wake up. Um, I'm definitely getting this um, image of the astronaut. We're like the astronauts in, in the um, spaceship now that, you know, we're restricted. We might still be restricted and that could be that you're restricted with your borders and what, where you can fly to and what you can do. You might be restricted still um, where you're living in that you might be needing the um, passports and things still. They're still trying to implement digital passports. So there's still these kind of restrictions. But the fact that we're floating around and we're experimenting and we're, we're having a bit of a laugh and finding out some joy in our life, even in the simplicity of sort of floating in space. That to me is the analogy that we're making the most of a, it's almost like saying like a challenging and difficult situation, but we're making the most of it. And, and, and it's saying, even though, you know, we might be representing, you know, that feeling of um, being miles and miles away from earth, like I said yesterday in that song, Space Odyssey, but we're not scared. I feel like we're not scared. It's like we're floating off like into the abyss, but we're not scared anymore. That The fears that were rising up in us a long time ago just aren't there. You know, we might have little moments where our anxiety and our panic um, starts to sort of rise a little bit, but it, it, it's showing to me that we get a handle on this because it shows that sort of, you think of an astronaut, you have to be very, um, it, it's like, I won't use the word elite. That's not the word I'm looking for. <laughs> We don't want to use that word, do we? We've had enough of elites at the moment. Um, it, it's it's a um, sort of, you think of an astronaut as sort of highly intelligent, um, carefully chosen. They're very carefully chosen for a mission. 
and and that's what I'm getting for you guys out there that are watching my videos we've been chosen for this mission and that's why we're, we've become this sort of core group that has that um, strength and knowledge and that sort of power in um, supporting each other and getting together in these larger groups that it gives us that strength to move forward so we have been um, sort of <laughs> Well, I've been chosen, as you would see on Toy Story, that little Martian that gets picked out of the, it reminds me of that Martian in, if you've seen Toy Story, I think it's the first one, the little Martian gets picked out of the um, pick a prize or whatever it is, one of those vending machines, and he gets picked up and he gets taken over to the exit, um, the, the, the claw drops him and the other the other little Martians are going, you have been chosen, you have been chosen. Like it's this great honor that he's been chosen from. Oh, some of those movies do make me laugh, but <clears throat> this is the message that they're kind of giving me. Like as astronauts, it's like we've been chosen. <laughs> we've, we've been picked up by the claw and chosen <laughs> to, um, I guess you could say, share the truth and, 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 be honest to our, to our own selves <clears throat> and that's what I'm definitely getting today <coughs> oh and speaking our truths as well but I'm getting that we have been chosen and that's why when you think of astronauts they're a very small um I keep wanting to say elite but I'm not going to say it they're a small um group that has a lot of knowledge and wisdom of the current situation and what is going on because they're trained, they're educated, um, their life experiences have led them um, to that journey. And that's that's what the guides are saying about us. We have been chosen. <laughs> we've been we've been picked out of the crowd to to kind of get that ball rolling. And and that was what our sort of sole purpose, I guess you could say, was. So I'm definitely getting that image of the like astronauts today. But we're kind of having fun with it. We're, we're experimenting with all the gravity, like I said, the toothpaste and the, the water droplets. And we're, we're finding this new world that we've discovered, which is what we're creating, which is the new word that we're using on this channel is terra bella, meaning our beautiful world. This, this is what we're starting to see. We're starting to see the magic and the awe of all the things around us. And and we're kind of experimenting and we're, we're really looking for those interesting moments um and that's what i'm definitely getting today so that's for you guys watching my video we've got this energy of like the astronaut <laughs> that's why we were sort of taken up in the tin can ship yesterday in space odyssey by david bowie um because we're fearless now we we, we know as much as we might feel like we're sort of on our own and, and but we're quite comfortable in that as well because that's when it, the representation of being on your own and sort of floating away, that's about finding your strength. That's not about being lost and, and flying to outer space. The message to me is about we, we've found our own strength and we're quite comfortable and quite safe in our little bubble or <laughs> tin can. And, and this, is, this is what's important to us moving forward and, and finding out our way forward in this madness and and even that song that actually said that planet earth is blue like if you think it, we know it's blue but i'm thinking that maybe planet earth is really sad like when you think of blue you think of somebody who's a bit down or they're a bit depressed or i also got that message out of that song today um yesterday and i know you guys got a lot of different messages out of that song as well um especially the pink floyd one um another brick in the wall I thought that was very significant to some of the things that we're currently going through as well so I'm definitely getting that we're astronauts today the guides are saying that we're we're full of curiosity we're full of wonderment um and we're in awe at the beautiful things around us in and and I think that's a great visual that we can hang on to today we're we're sort of like astronauts peering out that window looking back at earth but also creating our own adventures and in the environment that we we might be restricted to and i know in canada you guys are definitely restricted a lot over there and it's getting probably worse here in australia too now but this is what i'm getting we're peering out but we're still making the most of it and that's the image that they're giving me today about the astronauts being stuck in this spaceship but we're making the most of it we're connecting with the other astronauts and we're all having fun and um we're not scared. We're not scared of being out on our own up in the, you know, super hemisphere or wherever we are. We're not frightened of that. 
we know we can sort of ground ourselves at any time when we choose to, but in the meantime, we're going to have fun doing it. And that's the message that I'm definitely getting today. Um, I'll see what else the guides come up with. Now, they're saying there's a lot of movement and we have the capacity to really grow now. Now, the guides are getting back to the blob movement and I've got a video if you want to look for it called The Blob, if anyone's new and not sure what I'm talking about. The, the blob movement was created by a lot of people who stood up in the very beginning, which is pretty much all of you guys watching this video. Um, we've got other people who have also connected to the blob movement and we pushed forward and started rolling um, forward with um, the, getting out the information and, and standing up against tyranny and highlighting a lot of these things. We know it started with the truckers movement, but I'm, I'm still getting this blob energy that the blob is growing and growing and growing. Um, and it's growing to the point, it's saying that it's kind of festering, like it's festering ulcers, but it's festering ulcers in a good way because it's causing things to pop. And if you think of ulcers or any form of like infection like that a lot of gunk comes out um so it's like the gunk is really coming out now and that's what's allowing this blob movement to keep moving forward and accumulating more and more growth and more and more people um because the gunk and the rubbish is coming out um people are kind of squeezing that information it's like popping a pimple um you squeeze it till all the pus and the gunk comes out well that's what's happening with us the people who are standing up and the people who are, are on this journey of um the blob movement we're, we're causing the gunk to come out and we know it's completely ugh, contaminated um garbage that is coming out and that's what the the guides are saying that the blob movement is still continuing to grow and it's growing faster and faster and faster and as much as i said the other day that they're really trying to fast track everything really really really, really fast so nobody knows that it's coming out but they're forgetting in the meantime well they're not forgetting because they know it's happening because they're trying to speed up their agenda but the blob movement is growing faster and faster and faster and faster and faster as well so meanwhile the blob movement's bringing in all these other people and it's 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 just spreading and it's causing these things to collapse you think of it at the base of a big empire tower um it, it's pushing against that and it's causing um things to get shaky again so the blob movement is really spreading it, it's starting to creep into things and it's starting to take over things so this is about the truth and we're squeezing out the gunk um so that more people can sort of connect um because we don't want infection connecting to the blob we don't want the blob getting infected so we have to kind of squeeze um, the rubbish and the garbage and the lies and deception and all that out first and then people are reconnecting um, So this is still happening moving forward this blob movement. Oh It's getting beyond now the capacity that government and parliamentarians can control Because there's too many people fighting back and see this causes the pushback again the blob causes the pushback Oh Everybody's so tired people are so tired. We're tired of this People who have been injured are tired of this. People who are constantly being bombarded to get pin cushioned are tired of this. Everyone is tired of this. None of this is making any sense to people now. And this is why our movement is growing faster than they can track and put all this out. Um, I'll just see what else we get and where we go with this today. Now the guys are saying to you watching my video, believe and this will be achieved. So we have to keep believing and strengthening our own thoughts because what you believe is what you achieve is what the guides are saying. Um, so you have to believe that things can kind of come to fruition in order for them to happen. If you believe half-hearted maybe, but you have a lot of doubt, then nothing's going to change. You've got to know 100% in your mind that there is going to be swift change and um things are going to really light up. You know, I always talk about lighting up the globe and putting those lights on for people to find it. Well, this is going to happen. This this light is starting to shine on everything. Um, it's almost like they're showing me like the, like a big bomb going off, like the Hiroshima or I think that's the bomb, something like that. And it's, it's night time. 
and the bomb just drops and then there's this this huge humongous explosion of information and and this is what I'm getting this huge humongous explosion explosion of information has lit up the sky it has lit everything up to the point that it looks like daylight and and people are just like you know I always talk about people being shell-shocked but they're gonna be so shocked it's not gonna even seem like their reality um, you know when something goes off like that there's like this mass panic and people start to run the other way and they start to hide and they start to be very scared again because suddenly they're being woken up it's like when you're getting waken woken up out of a sleep if somebody touches you you get a real fright well that's what's happening with these people they're, they're getting that jolt and that real fright because things are really waking them up to the truth um they can't lie to people anymore because i mean how many lies can you tell it's like i talked about the rugs the other day you can't just keep putting rug over rug over lies over rug over lies over rug it just it doesn't it's just not going to be hidden anymore so that's what i'm definitely getting in june Big surprises, big light up. Sorry guys, we are so tired from all this. Big, big show. Um, oh, <laughs> I'm just getting that today. I'm getting this huge lighting up of the skies. But it's the lighting up of the truth, as we know. I'll see what else we get today. Now I'm getting this song, Rolling, 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 Raw Hide. <laughs> now I think it's a bit of a cowboy song, but I'm getting this image of this guy and he's got his like, um, is it stirrup? What do they call those things they wear on the front of them with the leather? Um, they're not stirrups, are they? They could be stirrups. Um, and he's like a real cowboy and he's like coming into town. So he's got this swagger on and he's like, you know when they come in and like quick draw McGraw and they come in and they're I'm here to sort of save the town well this is the kind of image that I'm getting um, they're showing me you might feel like you're this little lone soldier who's like you know coming to town and and it, it's like this they're showing me like this western town and it's like a ghost town and there's tumbleweeds rolling around and there appears to be nobody there and you've walked into town like this roll and roll and raw hide or whatever and you're this great cowboy with all this superpowers virtually and you've got your guns and you're ready to get all guns blazing but then there's this eerie silence and you it's like you're waiting for something to happen but then suddenly the doors and the windows start to open and people start to come out on the streets and they start to um embrace you and they start to come behind you and they start to look at you for protection um, and these are the people waking up. These are the people that are waking up and now coming outside to see what is going on. And they're following the people who saw this first. So they're behind us now and they're coming out of the darkness. Now, this is the image that they're giving me. So you're um, this strong image of like a cowboy. Um, you've got the gun, so you're in charge. You can protect everybody. Um, you're ready to fire as if you need to, um, you're on guard almost, um, and you're starting to move everybody forward. And the thing is that you made everybody feel safe to actually come out of that darkness. Um, they're still behind you because remember, I've always said it, they haven't pieced this story together. They're still trying to work on the narrative and what is going on. But they, they do look, and this is for you guys out there, People look at you for the truth now. They, they, you might think people aren't reading the information and the things that you're sharing, but the guides are saying they actually are. And they're starting to see that there is merit in some of the things that you have been saying and doing because we've been living our best life and we've been getting on with it and we've been ignoring all the narrative and all the garbage that they've been feeding us. And now people have seen that. So people are sort of falling into line behind you. And it's not because they're tired. These people are tired. They don't feel like they have the strength to stand up, but they know that you guys have the strength to stand up. So it's almost like we've been over here resting and now we've come back out of the sort of shadows and, and we're um, 
sort of recouped ourselves and we're feeling strong again. And, and this is that energy and vibration that we're emitting now that people are seeing. And I always say that people are seeing these things and they are. They're seeing that we're not sick. They're getting sick. They're getting blood clots. They're getting these things. They know something's amiss. Their gut feelings are telling them something isn't right. And they're now looking at you, you watching my video, you are now the ones that are starting to lead that charge again. Um, because it's not a matter of um, right fighting. The, the symbol that they're kind of giving me is it's a matter of, um, it's an anchor. So they're showing me the anchor on the chain of like a boat, but a very big ship, a very big anchor. We're like the anchor and we're, we're sort of lowered that anchor and we've got everything to a bit of a standstill now. Um, and that's taken a bit of pressure off these people because what what was happening is their life was rolling out really quickly down that road of tyranny, dictatorship. And now they've realized if they get behind us that we've put the anchor down and we've stopped this in its tracks. So you've got to know out there, anyone who's been fighting against this for a couple of years, that this has made a huge difference because it's causing these people to get behind us and follow in our footsteps. Now that's really positive message today from the gods that you know we're starting to lead that charge and again it's this blob movement moving forward. It's a slow but gradual movement that's bringing in more people. Um, and if you think of a blob or something sticky, it's quite anchoring really because it sticks to the surface. It doesn't just slide away or you know um, fall over the edge or anything. It's actually quite stable. And that's what that's a, sort of that connection to the anchoring. We're sticky. Things once they stick to it, they're stuck there. They stay there. Um, and that's why I'm getting that big anchor because an anchor can just cause a boat to just bob on the water and stay there. It's the same sort of analogy that they're giving me today. Um, I'll just see where else we're going with this. Ooh, so much is hidden around. Taxes. Gosh, there's so much yawning today. Sorry, guys. Um, there's a lot hidden around taxes. Now, I do believe, and we're going to be really pissed off about a lot of this, but I do believe that these elite leaders and a lot of the people in power don't pay taxes. They have some clause where they don't have to pay taxes. So every single dollar that a lot of these people are earning may be exempt from taxes. I'm pretty sure we know that big farmers probably not paying tax, are they? They seem to get out of everything else. Um, so I'm definitely getting there's an issue when it comes to taxes. Um, all the little people, of course, are having to upkeep the elites and the wealthy and pay our taxes. But it feels to me like they're not even paying a lot of taxes. They have a lot of exemptions around these kind of things. Um, and it could be that if they're making regular donations or they're putting their money into other things, that's considered as their tax. So there's a lot of these underhanded, unwritten rules, unspoken rules um, that we're not aware of. And this is again, getting back to the iceberg. There's a lot of things under the surface that we're still not seeing, but I do feel there's a lot around taxes. No surprises there. Gosh, I'm really getting tired energy today. I know if you guys are watching my videos, you guys are tired as well. Um, and there's no shame in admitting that you're tired. Sometimes when you're um, exhausted or you might even be depressed or you're just overwhelmed by everything that's going on, sometimes it's really important that you go and you lay down or you read a book or you chill out or you do whatever you can um, to improve the way that you're feeling because Sometimes we can just become very overwhelmed in life and it can cause us to get dragged back down into those dark places. So it's very important that you take care of yourself when you are feeling tired. Just try and really re-energize yourself. Make sure you're on those vitamins or you're eating really well. Um, you know, keep, like I said, with the train, keep your feeding it, feed your train really well, like the feeding it the coal, chugging along. Keep, keep the sustenance up to keep the engine going. Um, and that's for us in this, you guys watching this video. It's very important to keep your energy at that high vibration. So sometimes when you rest, it brings it back up. So don't be scared to go and have a lay down or have a little nana nap for 20 minutes. That's quite normal and the guides are actually recommending it today. Um, I'll see if there's any final messages today.
Now I'm getting the street sweeper. So I'm getting the big machine, the big street sweeper is coming through. He's coming through to tidy up the mess. So when you think of a street sweeper, it's like he's got a lot of work to do. He's got to use his brushes to first sweep them around, clean them around. Then he tends to turn around and come back and use the water to sort of clean out the gutters on the roads. So this is a bit of a process. So when it comes to this cleaning up of government and parliamentary leaders, this is kind of what they're saying to me. Um, don't become too overwhelmed because this is a cleaning them up is a bit of a process. It takes time somewhere, sometimes to get all the corruption out of government and parliamentary sort of houses. You've got to kind of just expect that it's a process and sort of that they will come up um, to be sort of acknowledged or dealt with at the time that they're meant to. So just let these things kind of unfold. That's why we're getting the street cleaner because the street cleaner is doing the work in the background. Um, you know, it might be cleaning the streets when people are at work. So people aren't kind of seeing that going on, but yet they'll come home and their streets are clean. This is kind of what the guides are saying to me. Um, just allow these things to unfold. You know, we don't have to be there to cite what's going on because a lot of these things can be happening in the background that we're not seeing and we're not aware of. I talked a lot this week about the legal um, positions and the legal battles that are currently going on and a lot of these might end up um, coming to fruition. Gosh, I hope they do here in Victoria. Dan Andrews is so corrupt, it's beyond a joke. And I know, well, we just mentioned Trudeau and everybody's knows where I'm coming from there. So that's what I'm going to leave you with today. Just think of that street sweeper that's cleaning things up in the background. And, and sometimes we don't need to see it. We might be able to hear it, but we don't need to actually see what's going on out there. We just need to know it's going on. So look, I'm going to leave you with that today. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Um, please stay strong. Go and have a nana nap and a little rest because you've really earned it. These battles are very exhausting because we rest and then we have to come back and then we rest and then we have to come back and then we're also um, bringing other people along with us. So we're still creating that movement forward with the blog. So look, thanks heaps for watching today. I'll say goodbye from Australia. Take care, everybody, and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to hit the like buttons and subscribe. See you. Bye everyone, bye from Australia.